Now let's get ready for bout number four. And this is going to be an amateur contest between Ramsey Ade and Khan Nikwe. These are young boxers that we're trying to groom them and nurture them to become world bitches. So if these boxers are ready, Ramsey Ade and Khan Nikwe for the amateur fights. This is an amateur bout. And Khan Nikwe and also Ramsey Ade. These are young, young, young boxers who are actually coming through the ranks with education being inculcated into them by the president of the Ghana Boxing Authority in the person of Abraham Kutanikwe. That is combining sports with education. And this is the amateur division where his son and the person of Kanikwe will be battling it out against Ramsey Ade. This is the amateur division. This is how we prepare some of these youthful boxers into becoming amateur boxers or black bombers in the near future for our nation called Ghana. And now with this blueprint being left out by Abraham Kutenigo, which means that as young as you are, you have to attach education to sport. So when you love the act of boxing, definitely there should be education added to that. And he's making sure that most of all these Juvenile boxers, the youth boxers who are coming up fast and thick, the amateur ones all go through the ranks of education. So we have it here at Fight Night 9 of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League live uh, from Booker German, Boxing we Arena. We are now getting ready for these very important amateur fights. We have the boxer who is going to fire from the red corner, Ramsey Ade spotted in all blue and white outfits black shoe and red gloves to match and from the blue corner he is also wearing light blue and white outfits black shoe and red gloves to match and that is the man Khan Nikwe the son of the current Ghana Boxing Authority President Ibrahim Kute Nikwe so let's see how the young man is going to live up to the billing and let's get ready to roll this is the amateur division and with amateur you're going to have young boxers who are combining education with sports and they are live here that is ramsey adi versus kan nikwe in this amateur contest it's just propelling you into becoming who you want to be in the near future this is where we actually get the black bombers this is where we psych even boxes boxes who want to actually temper they come out what? from the amateur ranks nana how do you make of these youthful boxes who are coming up can nikwe happens to be a student of accra academy and he's fighting against ramsey adi who is also a student in one of the shs he tells you that combining education with sports is the hallmark of this GBA president in the person of Abraham Kote Nikwe, which is something that has actually come to stay. It's a good initiative and it's a good example of being disciplined, as you said, combining this combat sport with education as well. And when you look at Khan Nikwe, I've seen him fight a couple of times right here, about two, three times, and you could see that he's a kind of boxer or he's a kind of amateur fighter that has to be a boxer puncher. That's his style. He doesn't really go in the, with aggressive nature he really calculates his punches and read his opponent very very well it's all about downloading what is in front of you and going for the attack and that is what can is always doing in the ring but when you look at his other opponent that's ramsey ramsey is a kind of fighter you could see he's always on his heels and he could look at the body faint and what he's doing right now is a type of fighter that he's always going to calm you down and going to unleash so can should be careful and rely on the counter attacks I mean, Khan Nikwe is a young boxer and he's a southpaw. He's fighting like a certain boxer who we know as Penel Street P. Whitaker of late. He actually passed away when he had an accident at the United States of America. Khan Nikwe happens to be the son of Abraham Kote Nikwe and he's battling it out against Ramsey Adi. Wow. This is the youth, this is the amateur division and they've learned the art. And they are exhibiting it here this is an exhibition bout in the amateur rounds Kam Nikwe versus Ramsey Ade 
this is round number one. The orthodox stand comes from Ramsey, Ade, and then the South Pole is Kant Nikwe, happens to be the son of Abraham Kote Nikwe, the GBA president. Nana, how do you have such youngsters being given the nod? Because one, it's very, very difficult to combine sports and education. But today, Abraham Kote Nikwe's administration has brought something up by letting youngsters through the ranks of the juvenile, the amateur, and even as little as they can, you have to pass through the educational system that is a schooling before the act or the spot that you feel that you love the most, then you just come in and then have a feel. I tell you one aspect of the, the Luxury Professional Boxing League that I am so enthralled about is the fact that it has become the grooming place for our future champions not the ones who are in the professional ranks right now but we are seeing juvenile bouts with, with um, the likes of mohammed ablo uh gabriel Chifi. we are seeing the likes of the past lobby and and we are seeing um, um young kanikwe son of the gba president it shows you that abraham kutenikwe is, is leading by example his own son is in the game that tells you the passion that the man has for the game and the fact that all the juveniles that pass through they are all in school it tells you that the game is going to improve because boxing is known as a sweet science it's not all about brawling it's about brawling and brawling so it is brain and brawling so i'm I, I'm, I, I'm very optimistic that we will be able to groom young talent who will take the world by storm in the near future this is round number two of the amateur fight between ramsey adi and kan nikwe i mean at every fight night we should have an amateur and this is what we have in this is the exhibition of these amateurs kan nikwe in the south pole stand against the orthodox stand of ramsey Ade, who happens to be a fighter who always wants to get it done. Kanikwe is fighting like Penal Sweet P Whitaker. He actually comes in when he sees the openings, he actually goes for it and then gets into a topsy turvy with whoever comes in front of him. And that is how you can actually portray how Kanikwe is fighting here. This is the same. Penal Sweet P Whitaker. The moment he boxes, he throws him, he turns him, he gives he, I mean, goes in with the jabs as well. Yes, that's the body punches, he goes in with the jabs. And the moment you come to punch, the moment he sees trouble coming, he just goes into a frenzy act just to destabilize his opponent immediately. A typical example of what I'm saying, a boxer puncher, he doesn't really go in for the aggressive nature. He calculates his punches. And that is what Khan Nikwe is also exhibiting here. The calculation is very, very good. It gives you insight of what you can do. Terrific right coming in from Ramsey, and then quickly in a clinch, Kan Nikwe goes in. As we said, it's never, ever an offense to just clinch in boxing, but you should have a way that you do it, and then you do it in a, in a more, more professional and civilized manner. Unlike how some people just turn out to clinch. Kan Nikwe, the moment he enters into trouble, he goes into a frenzy act of clinching. No, no. Uh, uh, so Niteko, um, I'm seeing something over here too. Um, Kan Nikwe is an unorthodox boxer with immense skill. He, he likes to rely on the counter attack. But one thing I'm seeing is that although he has um, tremendous footwork, his head movement is lacking. He's lacking in head movement. So um, the, 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 the trainers have to look at that very segment of his uh, artillery. And one thing that I'm seeing too is that Ramsey Ade is the aggressive kind of forward coming fighter. And when you have that kind of slugger who is always swarming you with punches, it makes it difficult for a counter puncher to actually get the time to have his rhythm and be able to pick the opponent apart. That is the problem that Kanikwe is facing right now. But so far, it has been an enthralling bout so far. These two young amateur boxers have sold out something that the fans out here are just having they're just having a feel of how 
boxing at this youthful level that everybody just admire and we are coming to you live on max tv from the book on boxing arena the deluxe professional boxing league fight night nine is between this youthful amateur kanikui versus ramsey Ade. Well, well, that, that, that was a great, that was a great round from these young fighters, you can see, as we keep saying, Dan Nico is the calculated boxer puncher, and as my brother said, he needs to watch his head movement. A couple of times, he got caught by punches from Ramsey Ade, and these are punches that if Dan Nico uh, time his head movement well, he could have also do a dodge and get counter, or get the counter to on Ramsey Ade. But it's all about your head movement. For his footwork, it's been good. So far, he's been good with his footwork. But for Ramsey Ade, he has also witnessed that Han Nico's head movement is lacking. So anytime his punches is always direct on the face of Han Nico. And that is what these two fighters are trying as much as possible to download at each other. If yeah, this one goes on well for this one, round. then you can see who is going to emerge. This is the last and the final round of this amateur contest between Kan Nikwe and also Ramsey Adi. Immediately they just zoomed into action. These are youngsters and they are selling something that everybody is very very keen and watching these youngsters exhibit the talents that they have in them. I mean this is Kan Nikwe versus Ramsey Adi. Ramsey quickly just goes into a clinch. As Nana Sam was saying, one thing that Ramsey doesn't know is that the moment you open up I mean, any stray punch that comes up can actually swipe you off your feet, irrespective of how well you've just pushing or positioned yourself. A very, very good hook or an uppercut from the opponent can easily take you down. Ramsey needs to know when to attack, when to defense, and then when to do that shadow boxing. Can Nikwe, nobody can stop him because he's, he's actually this is a talent and this is a type of talent that most of the people actually love what watching because most also like to be like their idols he is fighting like an idol somebody he has idolized whilst coming up as a boxer it means that he's fighting like a person and we've seen it so many times in these youngsters who just climb up into the ring even after the bout, you ask them who do you want to be in future they always mention their idols as young as they are they mention boxers who even some of us feel ashamed oh no when did this guy even become a boxer but hey these are youngsters who are learning and that is why we are combining education with sport no this is not good sportsmanship coming in from ramsey Adi. this is very very bad this is not good sportsmanship he needs to act no this act you don't use in boxing boxing what they are doing is an exhibition about it's not that at the end of the day we're gonna have a it's always going to be a goal so that psychologically you can also always be up there as a young boxer coming up so you should actually learn it and learn it very very well so i think that the handlers have a job to do on that score they need to look at the discipline level of the boxes both outside the ring and in ring discipline because sometimes you may be on the uh, lead in the scorecards but an act of indiscipline can get you disqualified in the bout and you end up losing so i believe that the handlers should look at all these flaws and work on them um, and you were making a point about the fact that these young boxers have idols you listen to um, a, a, um, a documentary of mike tyson and then cause damato his mentor and he was saying that every evening he will go to the house of cause damato and he'll be showing him clips of the Heavyweights of old, Jack Johnson, Jack Dempsey, and Co. And you watch this guy and say, "I want to be like this guy." So, so, so having mentors in boxing is very important. You look at a, an ex-boxer who has done immensely and try to, you know, pass him your star according to his. Wow! I mean, it's just come to an end. This. It was just a three-rounder of the amateur bout between Kan Nikwe and Ramsey Ade. I mean, I don't know. Um, these are the youngsters. What do you see about the amateur fights of the night between Ramsey Ade and Kan Nikwe? Shall we put our hands together for the two bosses?
was was a very beautiful fight. Let me let me help you guys in before the bets. No, 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 no. Ramsey, congratulations. Are you actually school? No school. Why? Come again, your father was? Your father didn't give you money so you stop schooling. Do you want to go back to school? Why? Oh, Ramsey. Thank you very much.